I literally just got in the water here with Andy and I found our first nugget of the day. Look how shallow this is. This isn't even a foot deep. Check it out. So we just found another piece. It's kind of deep and I can't reach it. So I'm going to have to dive down and try to suck it up with this. Let's see if I can get it done on the first take. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. I don't really know if I'm gonna make this into a video or not, but I'm out here looking for gold today. I'm out here with Andy Thrax Mining. We are practicing social distancing by taking separate vehicles. Now, this video might feel a little bit different because for one, I have some facial hair to celebrate boredom, and two, I don't have Keith, our wonderful camera guy with us, so the video might, yeah, again, just feel a little bit different but hey you guys want to see some videos and I want to see some gold and I'm sure all of us are getting a little bit bored so we'll make do with what we have and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> to increase our chances to finding gold I brought two metal detectors one being the SDC 2300 which is a pulse induction which means it goes deep and then uh, something for the surface is the Fisher Gold Bug 2 and also the wetsuit which is in the trunk by the radiator I'm sure you could see that and today is Andy Thrax's first time sniping underwater. Heck yeah! Let's find some gold. We are here at the river of goldness. Now upstream there is where I found half an ounce of gold. So about 13 grams of gold in one little crack. So there is definitely gold here. And I found a lot of gold down that way as well. But I haven't really spent a lot of time in the midsection here. So both Andy and I are gonna get in our wetsuits and hopefully find a lot of candy. Okay, let's make it happen. A few minutes later. Sweet. I literally just got in the water here with Andy and I found our first nugget of the day. Look how shallow this is. This is not even a foot deep. Check it out. Get it safe. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's find another. Now find a different hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working with Paul. Now you have to be sure that there's no other pieces of gold stuck in that crack. Nope. And when you find cracks like this, where the rocks are still stuck inside of them, you want to check under those for loot as well. Even the little pieces of gold add up, so take as many as you like. I'd just like to highlight how relaxing this really is. All the rocks are light underwater. and you just lay there and pick up free gold just shining back at you. I found a little one right under this rock here. And it's not always about finding the most amount of gold either. For me, sometimes it is, but for the most part, it's a retreat from the world away from all the drama. 
and into the moment. I suspect I'll be doing this for as long as I can. Oh. <laughs> with or without a camera. There's more gold. Alone or with a friend. There he is. You found four, eh? Okay. What do you, any luck? No luck. Well, three little pieces. Okay. But uh, definitely wearing out the gloves. You see mine here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even feel that happening. Oh yeah, you'll you'll cut yourself and you won't even realize it. Yeah. The 13 grams of gold was in that crack somewhere over here. I believe most of it's buried now, but uh, oh man, if we can get the hookah system working, we can get underwater. I mean, I could scuba dive this again any time, I guess, but it's just a big pain in the butt to actually bring all that stuff down. But uh, anyway, let's get back at it. Just a few more minutes of sucking up pieces that I saw. We were already ready for our first break. Okay, so we're taking just a few minutes to have something to eat and warm up a little bit, but I'll show you the gold that we have so far. We are looking fine. Look at that. That's a lot of candy for the amount of time that we've been in the water so far. Have a look at this guy. That, my friends, is a nugget, and I'm gonna guess it's probably close to three grams, but I'm not even sure. And we found that within the first few minutes of hunting. And here is Andy's take so far. Still not too bad considering it's his first day. We still have to get Andy here to find his first nugget underwater. So we're gonna get back into the water in about two minutes and hopefully do just that. You can do it. All right, I gotta get over there. Yeah. Cannonball, do a belly flop. <laughs> so we just found another piece but it's kind of deep and I can't reach it. So I'm gonna have to dive down and try to suck it up with this. Let's see, I'm gonna, let's see if I can get it done on the first take. I'm not gonna lie, that was my third take. It actually doesn't take too long to start finding gold once you get in the water. It's just a matter of recognizing those signs. Yeah. It won't fit into my snuffer bottle, so I'm gonna have to take the lid off and put it in manually. It definitely looked bigger underwater. Bloop. Andy just called me over. He says he found, oh, there it is. Look at that guy. First nice big piece. Yeah, about a half a gram or something, I don't know. Cool. Yeah, almost half a gram probably or something. Yeah. That's awesome. I just found another one. I can't really tell how big it is, but I know it's not gonna go up my snuffer bottle, so I'm gonna have to use my fingers. Oh that's cool. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this hobby is very addicting. There it is. Not as big as I thought, but hey. Again, it would be silly not to work the crack that just had gold in it. 
for obvious reasons. Oh, that's the uh, hole. Uh, that was easy. And after a few more minutes in this spot, I found absolutely nothing. I think it's time I get out. <laughs> okay, so Andy and I got out of the water. We're both uh, kind of cold. I'm actually more cold than he is. I'm really surprised that he lasted longer than I did today. We both found some gold, but it's gonna get dark here soon and we're both pretty content with the gold we found, but you're gonna have to wait till we get back to my place where I'll show you all of the candy. Check out where we ended up. So we started way, way upstream and then we worked our way downstream to this pool. And some of you who've been following me for a while may recognize this pool. This is where Scuba Jake and I went scuba diving. Good times. So how was your first day sniping? Sniping is unbelievable. I, I just can't believe how easy it is and, and, and gentle on the body and you find big pieces of gold and there's no bringing home concentrates. It, it blows my <laughs> mind. There's definitely a reason why I stick to sniping opposed to other things, but anyways, I gotta hurry up and get changed and get out of here. So let's get back to my house. All right, it feels good to be filming again. <laughs> I'm very grateful that I can still go out and make videos. However, I must admit, it is very difficult to get over the fact that Keith is not here filming me right now because there's just so much that cameraman gets and there's so much that you guys miss and don't get to see when he's not here. Anyways, let's go look at the candy. All right, all right, we are looking mighty fine. That's not a bad take for just floating down a river. And this nugget, I think is our biggest nugget of the year. Now, of course, we all know we're gonna have to beat that. And this is a lead we pulled out. We can't forget about the lead. Now for the weigh-in, starting with our little picker, I'm gonna guess 0.5 of a gram, so half a gram, 0.65. Not tea bag. Now our nugget. For sure this is the biggest piece I found in 2020. Uh, three grams. Ah, so close. 2.57, so two and a half grams. Again, not tea bag. Now for the rest of the stuff. I put the gold at the very end to make sure I didn't spill most of it like I usually do. 1.76, so all together. Five ounces, <laughs> just about five grams, so 4.99 grams of candy. So five grams of gold is a fair amount of candy to find just floating down a river, minus the Canadian temperatures, of course. Now, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please feel free to hit that subscribe button or follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Do a belly flop. Huh.